Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes, and today I wanna to talk about Salesforce documentation. Documenting all of our changes is something that we know we should be doing, but it rarely happens, because we're all busy. So let me show you a trick that we use that saves us a ton of time and does actually a better job of documenting Salesforce than writing everything out by hand. And that's using a screen recorder. And there's a specific screen recorder we like a lot because it automatically transcribes what you say. That screen recorder is called Descript. It's also an editing tool. I think you can access their screen recorder for free um, with certain limitations. So let's say I want to explain this flow, the reason it was created and, and how it works. I could come up to the toolbar here and click on the Descript screen recorder and I can choose to either just record the screen or just record the camera. I'm just gonna do the screen at this point. We'll use the MacBook Pro microphone for the input, that should be fine. Uh, and I don't have any camera that's gonna capture me in this particular screen recording, which is fine. I just wanna show what's happening in the flow so that we have that record. Click start recording, and then you select what part of the screen you wanna record. I'll choose this whole window and hit start recording. Let's say for example, I want to explain this opportunity dash calculate commission screen flow. I'm gonna open it up and I would say, screen flow can be triggered probably from a button, Looks like it gets the opportunity that that button is on. It then checks to see if the commission field is blank or not. If it's not blank, it shows a screen saying that the opportunity was already submitted. If it is blank, it'll then update the commission here. And if we click into this element, we can see that it's updating the opportunity that the button was on. We can see that the commission is being set by this resource here called commission calculation, and the field is being updated to closed one. If we wanna take a look at that commission calculation, you can come over here to the left. We can see that the opportunity amount is being multiplied by the owner's commission rate. And it looks like that commission rate exists on the opportunity owner record, on the user record. Okay, so we've got our documentation now. Just click stop on the right hand side. And now we can easily name this. I'm gonna call this calculate commission flow documentation. And then already it's created a, tra a transcription of that video. So if I wanna share this easily with a colleague or with a client, I can hit publish and copy link is the link directly to my clipboard, and I can drop that in an email and paste it somewhere. Uh, or I could paste it in a document. And here is what my colleagues would see. Now on the left-hand side, I'm still processing the video, so that might take a couple minutes. But on the right-hand side, we've got this transcript. And what makes this so useful is we get both. We get the video and we get the transcript. And as the video progresses, you'll see that the cursor moves through the transcript. So it's very easy to skip ahead as needed. So if you're doing a long training video or something like that, or you're going over multiple points, make sure you've got a transcript like this so that the person doesn't have to sit or scrub through 20 minutes of video. Instead, they can easily jump around and find the piece of documentation that's relevant for them at that time. If you wanna take this a step further, you can actually copy the transcript and then you can use AI to create a bulleted list or a summary from that transcript thereby giving you a more concise version of your documentation. Whenever you're gonna use AI though, always make sure to double check it, make sure it actually represents the core message within that documentation. But here, let me show you how it would work in Notion. I can paste in the transcript here and then ask AI to summarize with bullet points. Now it's just output these different bullet points and I'll replace the selection. This process is so much faster than having to write everything out manually. If you just created a new feature or a flow within Salesforce, you've already got it in your head. Just turn on a screen recorder, capture that information, and then use these new tools for transcription and for summarization to make it more accessible to your colleagues and to your clients. Let me know if this process helps you and if it helps you write more documentation for Salesforce, which is gonna make everybody's life a lot easier in the future. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.